Welcome to our series designed to walk you through the process of filling vacant lots in your community. Every co-op has had an empty lot at one time or another. And while you can't always control the reason for that vacancy, there's a lot you can do to get another home on it. Empty lots reduce a co-op's income between three and $6,000 each year. That's money that could help reduce or stabilize rent, upgrade your water, wastewater, electrical and road systems, or even pay for community wish list items like a new playground or beautification projects. This video series explores why and how to fill your co-op's empty lots. This information can be used by any resident-owned community, which we call rocks, anywhere. Even if your co-op is full today, there's a strong chance you'll have an empty lot in the future. Knowing how to fill them quickly can help you from missing out on potential buyers and income. We'll walk you through how to prepare for an infill project and how to create and implement a marketing plan. We'll discuss what kind of help you might need, how to select and place a home on your vacant lot, and of course, selling the home. And we've used the word infill several times already, but what does it mean? Simply put, infill is the process of turning the undeveloped or vacant lots in your community from this into this. Whether the home that will go on the lot is a double or single wide, new or used, the process is the same. We've already mentioned the most obvious benefit of infilling, the maximum amount of rent income for the co-op. Try this exercise. Multiply the number of vacant lots in your co-op times the monthly rent. That's how much income the co-op is losing every month. It might be a few hundred dollars for some, or others several thousand. Over the course of a year, those numbers add up quickly. But there are other reasons to infill. Vacant lots are not usually attractive. Potential home buyers will wonder, why are there so many vacancies? Maybe this isn't a good place to live. That's not an impression you want to give. Also, the more homes in your co-op, the more potential volunteers you have. New members are often eager to get involved, serve on a committee, or become a board member. Every co-op can benefit greatly from even one more dedicated member. The infill process gives your co-op leaders opportunities to network with realtors, contractors, town officials, and other professionals in the community. Building these relationships can be helpful in the future. So that's what infill is and why it's important. If you have questions or comments, please reach out to your co-op's technical assistance provider. The rest of the videos in this series will provide guidance for infilling your co-op. 